Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here and today I'm going to show you guys how to normalize your audio at the rendering process so that your entire project as a whole is normalized to a set audio level depending on the standard you choose. All right, so let's say we had a really big project here. You've already done all your audio mixing and leveling and you're ready to render. Before you add your section or your entire timeline to the render queue, click on the audio tab, go down to audio normalization. Here you'll see normalize audio. Now, if you're not really familiar with what normalize audio is, I have another video on this channel where I explain how to normalize audio on the edit page when you're working in your timeline. I suggest watching that video first just to get a little bit more info. But a quick explanation is by using audio normalization, you can choose a mode or a profile that you want to normalize to Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, etc. And then you can also choose the DB depending on the mode. So if we go to Netflix, it already has the target level and target loudness already set. So no matter how loud or how quiet your project is, this is going to allow you to actually get your entire project in the same ratio where the loudest part is going to hit the target level. If you're not creating specifically for YouTube or Netflix, you can go to True Peak and then just choose negative 0.5. That's kind of what I end up doing. But if you're specifically making content for one of these profiles, then just go ahead and select one of those. Now, a quick note is this is not going to fix any bad audio. This is just going to take your entire project as a whole and normalize the loudest parts to that target level you choose. But if you have distortion, clipping, or any other audio issues, that's gonna remain there. So you wanna make sure that you work in your audio tab and make sure that you mix your audio properly. This audio normalization on the render process is just to get it to a max audio level that you choose. Once you have that all set up, click add to render queue, render, and you're set. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to normalize your entire project on the render process in DaVinci Resolve. Now this audio normalization option, I believe is only available on DaVinci 18.6 and newer. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.